All right, guys, welcome along to a, um, it's not a blind playthrough. Uh, so yeah, we are going to be playing through The Witness. Now, this is not um, a blind playthrough by any means. I have uh, gone through the game a few years ago, back in, uh, I'll say a few years ago, about, probably about six years ago, five or six years ago, we played through The Witness. Um, and one of my biggest regrets is that I never recorded that playthrough for YouTube and I don't have an archive because that was like one of like such an amazing playthrough and experiencing this game like first time if you haven't played this game I highly recommend you do but experiencing this game for the first time is something very very special and about two months ago maybe a bit less LB sent me uh, a video and it was uh, pretty sure it was Keith Ballard and he was playing through The Witness and it's a randomized playthrough so there is a witness randomizer. If I remember, I'll put a link down in the description and it will randomize all of the puzzles. So the mechanics, there's various settings, but the, the way I'm gonna play it is the mechanics of each area will be the same, uh, but the solutions to the puzzles will be completely and utterly random. So yeah, I'm, I've, I've tested this out briefly and I'm not sure how this is gonna go some of these puzzles may be like a lot harder than they originally were i'm not necessarily gonna bog myself down um doing like a hundred percent looking for the tape recorders i'm not gonna look for any tape recorders i'm not gonna do or i'm not gonna go out of my way to do environmental puzzles um if i do some because i see them i will do them i'm just literally gonna try and do go around each area um like do as fast as i can like each area and just yeah just have a bit of fun see how long it takes us maybe we'll do some more randomized playthroughs of this again in the future uh, but i won't be doing any like the like the videos or anything like that any of the seek the extra stuff we're literally just going to be like going through each area and um, seeing how we can do so i'm going to start the randomizer now which it's doing it is done it says so hopefully if this works we should have a little message here which says our seed number. Okay, so we're playing on normal. That is the seed we are using. And uh, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I can't help myself. Gotta do the first one right. Hashtag spoilers if you haven't played. Uh, good luck. And away we go. We are off on our randomized playthrough of The Witness. And uh, yeah, like I say, if you haven't played this game, you really need to pick it up and give it a go. And I often talk about like my first experience and the first time I ever saw The Witness. And I remember it, it was recommended to me on Steam. And genuinely, my first impression was, well, why do I want to pay like 40, 50 pound for a game where I'm just drawing lines? And I didn't actually understand or appreciate like how clever this game was and like how just just generally how, how exciting the game is to play. It is so well made. And since playing this, I've also played um, a couple of, well, I say a couple. I've played one of Jonathan's other games, which is Braid, which um, I also enjoyed quite a bit. Uh, okay, we'll go down here. Sorry, let's see. I've got down to spot one. Um, so yeah, but um, like I said, this is more of a kind of more of a casual playthrough where we are going to be just going through. And Checking out some of these puzzles, randomized. And that's not the right way, is it? Because there is no escape. And uh, just basically seeing how, how good this randomizer actually is. So from my limited testing, it's um, it's actually pretty decent. So... Um, I don't remember really what I say, actually. Just in case, you know. I want spoilers. 
Uh, so yeah, we're not going to really tackle, like I said, uh, any of like the, the secret stuff. Um, so like we don't need to go in there really. I'm just going to stick to like the main puzzles and see how we can do. So we're on to dot mechanics now. But we have to come pass through each and every dot that we come against or come across. And uh, that's not right because we can't go and there we can do that. Nope, that's not right either. So I guess we're going to want to start from here. And I want to go up. No, that's not right, is it? That's not right at all. Down. I'll go across there. Okay. Um, there we go. That's... No, that's not it. You have to come down here last, I think. Yeah. So we have to try and cover everything else off first. So possibly we're going to want to come through here, up and down. Okay, so if we do that, is that off? There we go. Is that it? No, that's not it. Is there any special handling of puzzles that deal with the world in some way? Any special handling of puzzles that deal with the world? I'm not sure I understand the question, Fang. Sorry. Are you talking about the um like the the extra puzzles? It's gonna see us. Hey Dan, there we go, got it now. Are you talking about like the extra puzzles? So, last to come through there last. Down there, down there. Okay, so we go. Ooh, that's going to be awkward, actually. Do this. Uh, no, so I don't think any of those ones are randomized because when I was testing earlier on, I don't know if we can see. I don't, let's see if we can get a vantage point of the mountain. I'm sorry, saying now. Um, uh, oh, it's not there. But when I did this earlier on, one of the lasers was already enabled and it was for. Uh, and warning for spoilers if no, anybody hasn't played. It was for the the light and shadow area with the trees. Um, and that laser was already enabled. And I, I just assumed that was already enabled because um, you can't really do anything different with those puzzles. But I, I guess not. We'll, we'll see when we get to it later um, what sort of state it's in. Okay. But uh, thanks, thanks for um, re-asking the question. And apologies, I didn't um, didn't understand the first time you asked. So here, like this. Oh, we kind of want to do. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to come through here last. Almost like something like that. Last. So we just need to make the rest of the connection. Which is going to be what? I guess we come down here, 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 around there, like 
that. So now first bit's gonna be okay, so first bit's gonna be here, down here, round here like that. Boom. There we go. Alright, let's have a look at these um, black and white puzzles now. And we're gonna want to isolate blacks here, I think. Now let's go for whites. Yeah, definitely whites. There we go. Maybe we can't do that there because uh, that's, uh, that's where we need to exit. So let's break those off. Like that. There we go. Nice and simple. Um, okay. It is. It's it's the randomizer mod. Um, I see us. So we're giving it a go. Um, LB sent me a video which uh, where Keith Ballard was playing it uh, a little while ago. So I thought I would. Uh, jump in and give it a go. Well, since I played The Witness, and like I sort of explained, the, the from one of my biggest regrets is that I never record... Oh, sorry, that's bad English. I didn't record my initial playthrough of The Witness. It's one of those games that your first experience is just absolutely phenomenal. So it's it's one of it's one of my regrets, definitely, that I never get in bad English, that I didn't <laughs> That's good, isn't it? You can't even use that one. Um yeah, one of my biggest regrets is I, I didn't record that. My my first ever playthrough of the game. So I need to do what? Yeah. We are going to use this one first. So you can't isolate that there because that's going to be in the same areas as black, but we could do that. Then we need to close that one off there, which isn't... Uh, yeah, we can, yeah we, can, we can do that. Then that black there is going to stay in with that group there. Yeah, <laughs> there there are a couple of there are a couple of videos. Um, that being one of them, the other being um, the um, the gauntlet, of course, uh, completing the gauntlet and also failing the gauntlet and having a bit of a. Uh, how can we put it? How can we? How can we say um, a bit of a childish moment almost because we was getting frustrated. Um, man, how are we gonna? How do we separate this one off? Um, This is pro we can't separate this one off on its own. Therefore, it's going to have to be bundled. With something else. But I think the bundle is going to have to be. We need to bundle that as well. Close that off. That's, that's, that one's a problem. Hmm. 
We are stumped already on the first area. Well, not stumped, but we have uh, certainly... ...done something interesting. Okay, so if we hadn't gone around there, we could have then isolated that one. Yeah, I think we gotta I think we've gotta isolate these whites. But if I do that, I can't come back down here to block off this black one here. That makes it a little bit more tricky to deal with. Yeah, see, this would almost work. But our issue is like this black here. And also separating these blacks from the whites here. Draw off that one. Let's go think about like the exit. I think we're going to have to come up here for the exit. See, I'm thinking that uh. anything I'm sure of is that that's not our starting point because we can't go anywhere. I, I'm not sure which one of these I need to use. Um, this is very interesting this like shape here because we can't the only way you can really isolate that would be by doing like something like stepping like that now you do that you would have to come from the top so that you can then wrap around there or else there's no way else unless you come in from like the bottom actually okay you could do that so you could then encompass those a little bit like that that black there though is is interesting the one right next to the white because that would almost indicate you need to go around there like that okay. oh that's almost there apart from you would need some sort of separation between Okay, so can I get to, like, this point here if I use this one to start with whilst also separating those off there? Ah, that 
black. Uh, hold on, no. Ah! Uh, only I could have, like, separated those there. That was almost it. Uh, let me just find it for you. It is, uh, there's a GitHub link. Uh, check where it was. I will also, for anybody on YouTube, I will link down below as well. Here is the link. And it's really it's real simple to set up. You just run the game, then you uh, run the randomizer, set your options. And then it will update all the puzzles. And then if you come back to it, all you need to do apparently is again load the game, start the randomizer, and the randomizer will, will pick up, will automatically know what seed you're currently playing. So um, yeah, that's all handled and taken care of. All right, so I need to go across here. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits, Fang. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Nice like that one there. Is that yeah that... yeah it's that those whites and the black that these these three whites and these three black or four blacks there would all be part of the same This black one here doesn't close that off. Okay, this is different. But then This break here and this one here kind of ruins that from working. No break here. How do we?
I don't think it can work from this one. I think it has to go from this one at the top here. But if I run through here, I'd have to go at the top. See, so he thinks he's got it. Can't do that, can't do that. Break off these ones. How do you break off? Yeah, it's it's this this bit now though. How would I break off? Ah, uh, oh, I thought I had it. No. I think I've 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 had this this solution multiple times though. She's doing that, we just can't separate this white. Can't. If I start here, I can't go down. I can go. I can go down to there. Realistically, if I start there, I'd have to do exclude that first. I'd love to do something like that, but... Um, you see, if I start here, if I start here, I can only really go up or right. Because if I go down, I could go down, but down would mean I have to come back from the bottom. And if I go, if I don't cover off this one first, 
I have to go up here at some point and then I can't get back round. So the only logical place to go from here is up, I believe. Can't really loop around like that because that's going to include those whites in there. So we would have to go around here and cut that off there like we have been doing. Cut that off there. But doing that now restricts these these two here. So yeah, I don't think we can use we, we can't use this one. I don't think we can use that one. So where do we go from here? If we were to use this one. Go around here. Try and capture them in there, but then we're going to have an issue with that black one there. That's going to have the same issue there. Unless we were to wrap around like this. Okay. Wow, that was tough. That one was really tough. 